So I'm doing breakfast for dinner and I already started clearly layering, but I have the biscuits underneath pressed together and I obviously greased my pan and I put the sausage, um, cooked it in the pan, almost fully cooked. You could fully cook it too, but um, it says almost fully cooked. So I'm guessing you don't want it over, overdone. And then I'm, I've got, I did six eggs. If you do a huge, like a bigger 16 by nine pan, then you want to do eight eggs and a little bit of milk and your whatever spices you want. Make sure to blend that together really well. And then you're going to pour that over the sausage mixture and then layer it with the cheese on top. I'm going to use the Mexican style blend, but you can just use regular cheddar, shredded cheddar if you want, whatever. And then we're going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 35 minutes. I wanted to leave here like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> But I wanted to come on here and show you guys. I'm wearing this cooler tone blush today that I've had in my collection for a while. It's from Buxom Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush in Ibiza. Ibiza. It's pretty. I just never wear cool tone blushes. And I usually wear warm tones. Um, but I'm curious what you guys think. Do you like the cooler tones? I like it, but I don't know if I love it. All right. Gotta get to work. Got Zoe today at the office. My little unicorn, I call her. Okay, so I got to the office. These are my pepperoni from my lunchbox. <laughs> but I got to the office and look how cute. I got a little Valentine gift from Dr. Rockland. She told me about it yesterday when we were in the other office. Oh, oh how cute. That is so cute. Okay, let me open this and I'll show you what's inside. She got us all insulated, adorable lunch pails because she noticed that all of us girls take our lunches in like, you know, reusable bags from like the grocery store. <laughs> so I put my pepperoni in there already. But how cute is that? That was super sweet of her. So I'm in the front today because Cheryl is out of office, the girl that's usually in the front. But Mr. Darcy is so funny all day. He's been coming over here and just laying next to me and doing this, putting his leg up like that. Like, give me belly rubs. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, look at these. Did you eat your dinner? Good girls, I can tell. I, I cleaned up a lot, but there's still a lot. I'm sorry. No, babe, that's okay. Thank you for cooking. So we got Feast a la Bruner. Tonight we got the meatballs from Trader Joe's. We don't know if they're good yet. We're going to try them. So the first night we're trying them. And then we got some linguine noodles and some garlic bread. And we're almost finished with Saul. Better call Saul. We're on episode 11. I think we've got three episodes left before we're done. They just ate and look at them. Anyways, I was coming on here to show you what products I've been using on my face for the last like couple months, at least weeks. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I've been a little bit drier in certain areas of my face, so I've had to definitely up my moisturizer in the morning. I always did my skincare at night, but I was kind of bad at doing it in the morning always, except for my SPF. So I've been doing that with some eye cream. Then this for my SPF, which I'm about halfway done with this. Um, Good Molecules did send me this uh, weeks ago, maybe more than that. It has SPF 30. Um, minimal white cast. I would say that that's true. I've taken pictures with this and haven't had problems with it and has UVA, UVB protection and it hasn't broken me out. It's not super greasy. Those are the two things that I look for in a good SPF for my face. Um, if it's greasy, makes me oily or breaks me out, clearly not for me, but this is a mineral based sunscreen. So usually that's pretty safe for all skin types. Um, so just wanted to update you on that. I do really love that. Now these two primers, I have talked about ridiculous amounts here on my channel because I have repurchased both of these primers on multiple occasions. On the Too Faced Hangover RX, this one has a little bit more of a hydration, but doesn't give a crazy glow. So if you are oily, you can still use this, but it is a little bit more hydrating. It has like a coconut scent to it, and it feels really good, almost like water on the skin, and it is silicone-free, um, and it does really work well. 
to not only hydrate my skin, but keep my foundation on. But the Professional from Benefit, this is cut open, that's why it looks weird. Um, I'm almost out of it. But this really reduces pore size and gives you a smooth base. So I like to use this on my nose and anywhere on my face that has like larger pores, which is usually just like around my nose. And then I have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk in 520 Fair, which is the perfect pretty close to perfect color for me right now. might be a little light, um, but I bronze anyway. And I think I've talked about this already more than once, but I absolutely love it. I'm about halfway done with it. It does say dewy finish, but like I said um, recently, I felt like I've been a little drier in certain areas. But even when I wasn't, I didn't feel like this was too crazy. It's not oily at all. It just gives you that really beautiful, soft glow to your skin. Like you just have beautiful, glowy skin. Not oily. And and I'm more prone to being oily. And I still like this. I don't know if I'll be able to wear it in the summer. Because that's when I tend to get even more oily. And then Born This Way Concealer. Again, one that I've talked about many times here on my channel. And I'm using the color Swan, which is a bit fair, but I always go pretty light under the eyes to give, you know, that that glow under the eyes so you look more awake and all that jazz. Anyways, just thought I'd quickly mention that. And I'll show you what my makeup looks like after. Okay, I'm halfway done with my makeup right now, so don't judge that. But I'm watching The Housewives of New Jersey right now because... If you don't already know, I'm originally from Jersey. I lived there until I was about seven years old and then in Arizona since then, but I have a ton of family still there. And I'm so excited because I get to share that with Chris this year because we're going to Jersey for my sister Rachel's wedding. So I'm really excited to like share my childhood with him and share all of, like the good food and the best places and like where I lived and everything. I'm so excited. Um, so watching the Housewives of New Jersey is just like so nostalgic for me all the time because it just makes me feel like I'm home. Um, I know they're crazy on the show, but it's just so funny. Um, just like the mannerisms and like what they say brings me so much joy sometimes. Like the silliest things, like this lady just said, I'm sweating like a mongoose. And it made me laugh so much because no one says that here in Arizona. And I thought it was like something my family only said. Um, like we made it up, but no, it's a Jersey thing. And I All right, we got two special deliveries today and Holly is already excited, right baby? You're so excited, honey. I got your new bark box. Yeah. Lucy went outside, she has zero interest. <laughs> Okay, New York City is the theme this time, and this theme is so appropriate because Chris and I are going to be going to New York and New Jersey in June um, for my sister's wedding. Anyways, here's the adorable little cartoons. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, let's get to the goods. Oh my goodness, Holly. Look at this one, honey. I know, hold on, hold on. Let me show them first, okay? This is so freaking cute. It's like a little Chinese takeout box. I'm guessing there's little dumplings inside. Oh my goodness, there is. Look at They're so cute. Oh, they all have little faces. Very cute. She's going to love that. All right, and then we also have a little taxi. Oh, I love this one. That is so cute. Hold on, honey. And then, what the heck is this? Oh, Statue of Liberty head, right? Her crown, yeah, Lady Liberty ball. Oh, you want this one? Okay, let mommy undo it. Hold on, let me take the tag off. Wanna get your ball? A new ball, honey? Get it. Oh, Lucy's back. Hi, Lucy. Oh, right in time for the treats? Holly, you're gonna miss out on the treats, honey. You wanna get your treat first? Oh, dang, Lucy does. All right, girlfriend. First, we got some, oh, we've had these before and you liked them. The Clucky Jerky Sticks Chicken Recipe, Beef Recipe Chew Sticks, which they love, and the Moo Moo Jerky Bars Beef Recipe. Yay, they're going to love all of these snacks this time. And these are all the different things that they could get. I actually bought Mr. Darcy this pretzel before. All right. Let me get to playing with my baby because she's all excited. So I, I wanted to actually come on camera to talk to you guys because I feel like I have been a little absent like face to face with you this week. Um, I'm going to open two packages with you guys right now in a second. But I just want to say thank you so much 
just thank you so much. You guys are so incredible. A lot of you have been following me for so many years now. You've seen so many ups and downs and different things in my life. And I'm just so thankful that we built such a, a great community here. And of course, there's always a few outliers here and there. Some feisty Karens that like to say rude things sometimes, but that just comes with the territory and I've just learned to to live with that and go with it. But I have to tell you guys and, and just be 100% like I always am here on my channel that sometimes it's really tough to try to live up to like what everyone expects from you and YouTube, Instagram, like all my social media stuff, it brings me so much joy. I do it because I truly do love to do it. Um, I'm not one of those people that in 2020 just decided out of the blue that they wanna do social media as a career. Like this to me is my hobby, but it is has become my like second career. And yes, I have a regular nine to five, which can make it really difficult sometimes. I am always thinking of new ideas, but they just don't always come to fruition sometimes and they just don't, I have a long list, I'm telling you guys, so many things and so many ideas and so much I wanna do, but I just don't have the time. It's just what it is. And I've had to come to terms with that. And I just wanna say thank you for sticking with me and being here for whatever content that I can produce and put out there for you. Okay, I really got off on a tangent, but my point is that just know always my intentions are right. I love doing this, or I wouldn't have done it as many years as, I've, as I have. I mean, no offense to myself, but I haven't even re reached 100,000 subscribers, and you know why? It's because I'm not committing 100% to it, but it's just, I know me, and I know that I can't do that, um, and that I, I don't really think this will ever be my full-time career, but I always am trying to make it so, because I would love to be self-sufficient on my own and not have to rely on anyone for money and work, you know, other than my business and what I'm doing, um, and that's always my goal. I don't know how much of this is gonna actually make the vlog because I feel like I was rambly, but let's get in to the packages that I received. So I know I've been talking about Built Bar and Liquid IV a lot, and I'm actually really excited to try this because I've been hearing all over social media that these are amazing, but I've yet to try them. They're the Built Bar Granola Bars. Have any of you tried these yet? I'm so excited because I love granola bars. I love me some good carbs. So I'm sure this is gonna have a little bit more um, carb load. So we'll see in a second, but I got the chocolate coconut. It also comes in chocolate peanut butter and white chocolate berry. And then of course they have their like limited edition flavors that they do here and there. But I have not eaten much all day except for egg bites from Starbucks. So I'm about to try this out as a little snacky. So here's what it looks like. Looks like the same size as the regular built bars or similar. And this has only four grams of sugar, good start, 15 grams of protein and 150 calories. So a little higher because um, most of the built bars are around 130, so just a little bit higher in calories. And let's see about the carbs though, because I'm just curious with it being granola. 21 carbs. I will make sure to pull another built bar out of the fridge in a second to tell you guys how much they usually have, or I'll just put it right here. Um, and six grams of fiber. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, I'm majorly <laughs> losing light. So let's go ahead and give this a taste test. Wait, not what I was thinking it was gonna be like, because it's pretty chewy in the inside. Hmm, what a bummer, I'm not a big fan. You know when like you're super excited for something and then it disappoints you? That's how I'm feeling with this one. It doesn't taste bad. Okay, let me rephrase. Let me finish this bite. Okay, the flavor is good. It doesn't have that like weird chemical taste to me, but it does have like not as true of a flavor that I love from Built Bar usually. And the texture is similar to regular like protein bars that you get at the grocery store, which I also don't like. Um, because there's something about the regular Built Bars and the Built Bar Puffs that make me feel like I'm having a sweet treat and like a candy bar. And this tastes more to me like I'm having a protein bar. So I'll eat them because 
I used to eat protein bars like all the time that were this kind of consistency, but I definitely wouldn't buy them again. I'm super disappointed. Maybe it's to the flavor. Maybe I should try the chocolate peanut butter, but you can see that there's like little granola pieces in there, but it's not like a granola bar. So I don't know why they call it a granola bar. Cause to me, that's not a granola bar. That's like a chewy protein bar with a little bit of granola sprinkled in. All right. I'm just gonna keep to my built bars and built puffs cause that's what I love. And if you're curious what my favorite flavors are, I will try to remember to leave them linked down below for you guys. Cause I can't even Another little surprise from urban decay. This says, take the time to smile. And it has this cute little sticker. I did open it already, but I haven't looked at the colors inside. So on here, it says, hey, Bestie, we're sending you a little something to make your day a smiley. Urban Decay partnered with the Smiley Company to create two new mini naked palettes that bring a little happiness when you're glamming for any occasion. Take mucho happy or chill happy with you anywhere you need colorful dopamine boost. Yeah. They are very bright and fun. But I'm guessing the colors aren't because it's naked palettes. So look at these. Oh my goodness, I'm seeing the colors on the back. And they've got some bright pops of color in there actually. And I think it's a thing for spring and summer that we're doing like really bold color choices because I've been seeing nail polish trends like very bright, <laughs> like neons. Um, so I'm wondering if this goes along with that. So we've got naked chill happy and naked mucho happy. <laughs> And that's this one here. So I'm gonna open this one first, which is Naked Chill Happy. Oh, how fun. Okay, can you see it? How fun is that? Very psychedelic. Oh man. That is definitely... Okay, how can we consider this a naked palette anymore when they're doing bright colors? <laughs> no offense to them. These are gorgeous. And I know for sure I'll wear these three. Sorry to blind you right now. Um, I could use these as accents. I, could, I actually could see me using this fire one. All right, maybe I would. I'm gonna challenge myself to use this. Probably won't see it on this vlog. It'll probably be next vlog, but I'll challenge myself to try out these palettes next week and do some fun looks for you guys. And we'll see what I can come up with. And then I also have the Naked Mucho Happy. And this one definitely reminds me of like Rio de Janeiro or something like that, right? Like Carnival with these fun, bright like pops of color, but then you got your neutral bases. Yeah, this looks like something I'm gonna be more into using more the blue. Again, I'm gonna try to challenge myself to maybe do a little like blue underneath or something. Guys, make sure to check back next week. I will make sure to try these out and show you a few looks with them. Okay, I just took another bite. Final thoughts. <laughs> it's extra chocolatey. Um, just as rich and like decadent as regular Built Bars. So it has real chocolate all the way around. And it does have like chunks of granola in it. So if you're missing that in your built bars then get these but if you're not missing that and you don't want to chew your texture you like the texture of built the regular built bars and the puff or the puffs then i would stick with those but i don't dislike these they're just not going to be something i reach for okay i'm using a lamp post right now to illuminate us but we by we, I mean this gentleman and I. In the shadows. In the shadows. I'll film him and go to grill. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to go to Kona Grill for some sushi. Yes. Like our signature day night. Going to Ant-Man. I've been excited for Ant-Man. Yeah. Love, and the Wasp. Love Paul Rudd. Hello, isn't it both? Yes, Ant-Man and the Wasp, but who cares about the Wasp? Hey you guys, so today is Saturday. I have been spending all day planning our New York and New Jersey trip that we're gonna be going to in June for my sister's wedding. 
Um, and that's been really exciting to plan all of that. But now I'm off to see my future sister-in-law, Haley. I'm going to Haley and Brian's house because we are getting together, all the bridesmaids and her, um, just for like a little get together to meet each other because some of us haven't met before. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I get nervous meeting new people sometimes. Um, I wouldn't consider myself an introvert, but I'm definitely not like 100% extroverted either because I like meeting new people and I like doing stuff like this, but I also get like nervous tummy and everything meeting new people. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll have so much fun and I'll try to vlog a little bit of it. My hair is like extra curly still, oh my gosh. And I'm still wearing my Valentine sweater because it's so cozy. And I just wanted to be nice and cozy and comfy because um, we're being nice and casual tonight. Okay, got my laptop ready too because we're gonna be looking into things for the wedding. I also brought this beauty. <laughs> Can't come empty handed. Some wine to go with our pizza tonight.